climate change, and global warming, are often used by us, but both have a different meaning. Similarly, the two words, weather, and climate, are at times confused. Welcome to World Through Science. In this video we will be talking about, climate change and global warming. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, for more such informative videos. The word weather, refers to the local atmospheric conditions, that occur over a short period of time. It could be for hours, or even days. Few examples could be, a rainy weather, snowy, or windy weather. Climate, on the other hand, refers to the long-term, regional or even global average temperature, like humidity, or rainfall patterns, for years. What is the meaning of global warming? The term, global warming, refers to long-term heating of Earth's climate, since pre-industrial period, between 1850 and 1900, due to human activities, like fossil fuel burning. This increases the amount of heat in Earth's atmosphere, by trapping greenhouse gases. Since the early pre-industrial time, human activities, are estimated to have increased Earth's average temperature, by about 1 degree Celsius. And year on year, this temperature is now constantly increasing. What is the meaning of the term, climate change? Climate change, is a long-term change in the average weather pattern, and defines Earth's climate. Changes observed in Earth's climate since the early 20th century are primarily due to human activities, majorly, fossil fuel burning. And we now know that, the burning of fossil fuel, increases Earth's average surface temperature. These types of human activity related temperature increases, are commonly referred to as, global warming. Natural processes also contribute to climate change. These are either Earth's internal factors, like ocean warming, or external factors, like sun's energy output changes, or variations in Earth's orbit. How can we say that climate change, is real? Earth's climate has changed throughout history. About 11,700 years ago, after the end of last ice age, we began the age of modern climate, and of human civilization. And since the mid-20th century, global warming was due to increase in human activities. Ice samples collected from Greenland, Antarctica, and tropical mountain glaciers, show that Earth's climate responds to changes in greenhouse gas levels. Ancient evidence can also be found in tree rings, ocean sediments, coral reefs, and layers of sedimentary rocks. The evidence for rapid climate change is quite compelling, since the late 19th century, Earth's average surface temperature, has risen by 1.2 degrees Celsius. This increase in temperature is mainly due to, increase of carbon dioxide emission into the atmosphere, and other human activities. Most of the warming occurred since 1980, with the years 2020, and 2021, already recording highest temperatures. Our Earth stores 90% of extra energy in the oceans. And that's the reason, oceans have absorbed much of this increased heat. The average temperature of oceans, have increased by more than 0.3 degrees Celsius since 1969. The Greenland, and Antarctica, are currently losing their ice cover at an alarming rate. Data shows that, Greenland, lost an average of 279 billion tons of ice every year, between 1993 to 2019. And, during the same period, Antarctica, lost about 148 billion tons of ice each year. Satellite images show, that the amount of snowfall, in Northern Hemisphere, has decreased over the past few decades. Also, the snow now stays for a lot less time. Since 1950, the number of record high temperature events, have increased. While the number of record low temperature events, have decreased. Globally, we have also witnessed an increase, in the number of intense rainfall events. Since the beginning of Industrial Revolution, acidity of our ocean surface, has increased by about 30%. This increase is due to more carbon dioxide emissions. In recent decades, the oceans absorbed between 20-30% to 30 of total carbon dioxide emissions. How does human activity, contribute to climate change? We live in a greenhouse. 
and life on Earth depends on the energy coming from Sun. Half of the sunlight reaching Earth's atmosphere passes through the air and clouds to the surface, where it is absorbed, and then radiated upward, in the form of infrared heat. At present 90% of this heat, is absorbed by Earth's greenhouse gases. And this absorbed heat, is then radiated back, toward the surface of Earth. This then further increasing Earth's temperature. There are certain gases in Earth's atmosphere, that prevent heat from escaping. Carbon dioxide, it is a very important component of Earth's atmosphere. Carbon dioxide, is released through natural processes, such as animals breathing, and volcanic eruptions, and through human activities, like deforestation, and by the burning of fossil fuels. Humans have increased atmospheric carbon dioxide, levels by 47%, since the last industrial revolution. Methane, this is a hydrocarbon gas, that is produced naturally, and also by humans, by the composition of waste in landfills, agriculture, especially rice cultivation, as well as by domestic livestock. On a molecule-for-molecule -molecule basis, methane is a far more active greenhouse gas, than carbon dioxide, but is less abundant in the atmosphere. Nitrous oxide, it's a powerful greenhouse gas, this gas is generated, when we use commercial, and organic fertilizers, in farms, burning of fossil fuel, and also by the burning of biomass. Chlorofluorocarbons. These gases are commonly known as CFCs, and are synthetic compounds entirely of industrial origin. They are used in a number of our daily appliances. Their release to the atmosphere, have contributed to destruction of the ozone layer, Effects of climate change, since the greenhouse gases, are trapping heat in the Earth's lower atmosphere, we have already started seeing their effects, on our environment. Glaciers, have shrunk, ice, on rivers and lakes are now breaking up early, plant and animal habitats have shifted, and trees are now flowering early. Scientists have confirmed, that the global temperatures will continue to rise for decades to come, largely due to greenhouse gases, produced due to an increase in human activities, and have forecasted, that temperatures could rise, to 6 degrees Celsius over the next 100 years. Some of the long-term effects, of global climate changes. Global climate, is going to continue to change. And the amount of change, in next 50 years, depends primarily on the amount of heat trapping gases, generated by humans. Following changes will be seen more often, due to the steady climate change. Temperatures, will continue to rise. Winters, will become shorter. Changes in rain, and snow patterns. We will now see, more droughts, and heat waves, in future. Cyclones, hurricanes, and tornadoes, will become stronger, and more intense. Sea levels, will rise 1 to 8 feet, by 2100. And the Arctic, is likely to become, ice-free.